Take a walk on the wild side where not one, not a few, but 5,000 jack-o'-lanterns light up the night at Old Westbury Gardens. What The Rise is all about is about providing quality family entertainment at Halloween. We wanted to do something that was genuinely child-friendly and child-oriented, something that parents could bring little kids to without bringing them home crying. Rise of the Jack-O-Lanterns features the work of many local artists and sculptors from the New York metro area. Who carved them would be myself and my team of artists. We have literally dozens and dozens of artists who have worked tirelessly to create by hand each and every piece that you find here. Every single face you see here is conceived by an artist. I'm an illustrator and usually I'm used to, you know, pencil paper, but uh, working with the pumpkins has added a whole new dimension to it, but it's interesting discovering new ways to, um, you know, produce art on them. This one in particular, we used scalpels, knives, and small hand gouges, as well as some power tools. As you can see, the ones that are on the pedestals are carved inside as well as hand painted outside. You have the Mets, the Yankees, the Giants, the Jets. There's two pumpkins for Girl Scouts. It's wonderful, it's wonderful, it's wonderful for kids too because they can actually try to find characters that they know. The dark winding trail ended with a grand finale where we spotted Neil Armstrong, Michael Jackson, and Albert Einstein among other leaders of the patch. I took my daughter here, it's amazing. I, I can't believe it, I'm totally impressed. The pumpkins are all lit by electric lights, making it an eco-friendly way to glow. Actually, our entire show is lit by a LED, allowing us to have over a half mile of walking trail with 5,000 hand-carved jack-o'-lanterns for all less than the service you might find in your own home. It's nice to have something really spectacular in the month of October. So if you come here and join us for the rise, think about coming back to Old Westbury Gardens and check out our website at oldwestburygardens.org and think about visiting us next year.